So we've got a question that says, should you plan to have more rest days before a heavy session or more rest days after a heavy session? That's an interesting question, and it's also kind of a tough one to answer in a format like this, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. If we look at it in that kind of uh, A, B option type of lens, do you stack your rest days before the heavy session so that you're more recovered? or do you stack your rest days after the heavy session because you'll need the additional recovery time? I think you can make an argument for either one. And it doesn't have to be all one way or another. You can conceivably choose a middle ground. You would want to choose to place your heavy sessions on a day where your performance is going to be good. If you're talking about you know, carrying so much fatigue into the heavy session that it affects your performance negatively, that's not really what you want. It's more ideal to be able to stack up good performances on those heavy sessions and allow the momentum to build. So you need to have some rest. You also need to have some rest afterwards. In total, you wanna lay out your training over the course of the week so that you can maximize performances. If you're constrained in some way, and some performance is going to be limited by fatigue, which happens in, I would say, most cases for serious powerlifters. There's some sort of fatigued session. You want those sessions to be your lower priority sessions. Maybe they're uh, developmental exercises or preparatory exercises, something along those lines. That's ideal. And then you reserve the kind of prime spots where you're more rested and more recovered uh, for those sessions that are more important. The way I would lay out the week is more like that. It's more like um, prioritizing the important sessions so that you have good performances and sessions where you still need to train, but you know, just by virtue of the schedule, you may not be as fully recovered. Well, those are for lower priority movements, things that are still important for you to do, but don't require quite that pinnacle of development. Wait a minute, so we're gonna do some training and we're gonna keep doing it until it stops working and then we'll transition and do something else. Yeah, that's basically it. It's not a training system as much as it's a, an epistemological system. It's a way of interacting with the world and, and understanding how things work. I was always interested in tinkering with my training I'm not sure that I would have wanted a coach to tell me what to do exactly. I like tinkering, and even now I like the tinkering process of it. And I thought, what am I doing to help those people? It can give you a process for coming up with the best creative solutions for an individual lifter and program for yourself and, and pay attention to your own training. I think it's a great way to understand a lot of that stuff and hopefully get to where you can build it yourself and speed up that whole learning process.